A second question is, do you see any parallel with what happened to some boys in our country? In terms of parallels to our country, we judge children and people who make certain decisions and lifestyles, but most of those people will tell you that what they're doing is in the name of providing for their families. Free Minds is a nonprofit organization that uses books and creative writing and intensive reentry support to build a community of support for our members. I dropped out of school in the eighth grade. Uh, I probably had a sixth grade reading level, but during my incarceration, I basically taught myself how to read. My name is Shannon Bowdo. I'm from Washington, D.C., born and raised. At 17 years old, I wound up catching the charge, got a life sentence, and uh, wound up doing 25 years. My name is Joe Houston, Jr. I've been a part of the family since I was 16 years old. This year, I'd be 30. What made me so interested in it was just one, just the passion. It gave me the outlet to just open my mind to different books, different ways of life. So it just put me in a great mindset of just like, you know, it's hope out there. Criminal justice reform is important to me because I feel like it's a human rights issue. Part of my personal experience with my father being uh, imprisoned and, and deported, and then also my just experience within my community, seeing a lot of people grow up like without their father or without their parents generally because of uh, just the legal system and, and how it has worked historically. The justice system, I believe, is flawed. What kind of system like tr tries kids as adults and punishes them, takes them away, and then also in many cases reduces their right to just think and learn and grow? The origin of Free Minds is back in 1996. I received a letter from a young man on death row in Texas. His name was Glenn McGinnis, and Glenn was executed in the year 2000. And he had once mentioned the idea of, of starting a book club. And so just sort of in his honor, I wanted to do something so that when they come home, they can achieve their life goals, their career goals, but also so they can become agents of change in the community. Back to the parallel, the thing that is helping in the moment, unfortunately comes back to bite you in the behind, because for a lot of those people making those decisions, they end up in situations like where we are right now. With the funds from the NFL, we um, are able to fund part of our reentry program, including our peer support program, which is um, a program that some of our members coming home, they go through training to become peers and mentors to the uh, young men who are coming behind them. I'm the advocacy and leadership development specialist at Free Minds, and our objective is to make positive change in the community through advocating to D.C. Council and letting them know exactly what we need for criminal justice reform. I'm a living example of what education can do for you. I absolutely believe this program works. It's important that we have programs that our residents can relate to, programs that give them a platform to be able to speak their voices, be able to elevate um, the thought processes, as well as just connect to other people. Free Minds have been very, very supportive over the last 10 plus years um, that I've been here. So we're excited to continue that partnership. Book club on a Monday. Gotta set the tone for the week cause you know one day every struggle started from the bottom, that is one thing. So I've been home for nine years now. Right now I'm a business owner, about to open up a gym and I started a big movement in Washington DC called We Fit DC. My age told me to get it and look, man, I've been patient. It's just crazy where I'm at now, just being looked at as a monster in my community. Now I'm looked at as a superhero doing all this impactful work. So I'm just excited about the change and just seeing that and the growth who I am now. Sharing things is what we do.